This is He Knows Everything, bringing you that heat. Far. We keeping a foot on the whoop on Thoth Nicks. We keeping a foot on the whoop on Thoth Nicks. Didn't He Knows Everything tell you guys? That Terrence Buck Crawford was not signed to anyone. I told you guys, man. This right here shows you why He Knows Everything always says, and a prediction, King Strikes again. And a prediction, King Strikes again. He knows everything is always on the thumb, the wave, the curve, the needle, and the aisle of the damn situation. What did he tell you guys? In his most visceral form of cold-hearted, unadulterated, and cut through tele fashion. He told you guys that when it was all said and done, that this was the actual fate. This was the actual occurrence. This was the finality of everything taking place the way that it was fucking taking place. Motherfuckers don't want to listen, man. Motherfuckers never want to pay attention. They never want to listen. They never want to get to a conclusive state. They never want to get to a final state. They never want to get to a state where they listen to what he knows everything is telling them. Even though he knows everything is bringing them that what? That heat and that far. And keeping a foot on the what? Oh, yikes. And keeping a foot on the what? Oh, yikes. He knows everything told you guys, man. Look at what Terrence Buck Crawford just said. Oh, I'm going to sign with top rank if they can get me the Josh Taylor fight. Who is the only one that told you guys that Terrence Buck Crawford was trying to fight Josh Taylor? Now he knows everything can get right back on Terrence Buck Crawford. He's a chihuahua walking behind the damn fence. But I understand why he's got, he got he's taking that fight. Because ain't nobody trying to fight his ass. But at the same time, I don't fucking understand it. There's options at the welterweight division. Even though Keith Thurman is doing his thing, there's still other welterweights that's out there that he could fucking fight legitimately. Y'all want me to name the welterweights? I can easily fucking name them for you. Nobody named no damn Virgil Ortiz. Nobody named no damn Jerome Boutinus. We ain't talking about these young fucking pups. I'm going to name you a welterweight that Terrence Buck Crawford can fucking fight and Terrence Buck Crawford will have every right to justify this fucking fight. You guys are ready for it? You guys want me to tell you? I'm going to make it very fucking clear for you guys. Terrence Buck Crawford has two options. Danny Garcia keeps talking about 154. They can go ahead and have another fucking They can have a fucking fight. I don't see why Danny Garcia can't fight Terrence Buck Crawford next at 147. Danny Garcia doesn't have a belt. Danny Garcia is not a full-fledged 154 pounder. Danny Garcia can train and get his ass in shape for this fucking fight. Terrence Buck Crawford's not fighting anyone right now. Terrence Buck Crawford's not in no fucking training camp. Danny Garcia is a legitimate opponent for Terrence Buck Crawford. They have unfucking finished business. Amateur unfucking finished business. That they can basically make a conclusive, a financial, a final, and a total state of it. It's a good fucking payday for both of them. And we really get to now know. When it's all said and done, that chapter is fucking closed. Terrence Buck Crawford's already fighting all the earlier two spence leftovers. He might as well just go ahead and sweep all the way through them. Danny Garcia is the viable option. That's the next fight that I want to see Terrence Buck Crawford fight. That would be the realistic fight. That would be the fight that makes more the most fucking sense. But he's fighting fucking Josh Taylor. Because Terrence Buck Crawford has always been what Terrence Buck Crawford will always fucking be. Uh, behind the damn fence but to be honest with you him fighting josh taylor to me is more credible than him fighting some damn jerome boots in or some fucking virtual teeth and let me explain why josh taylor although he's 140 pounder the motherfucker is decorated the motherfucker has won belts after belts after belts. But motherfuckers will say, well, he's starting over. He's starting from scratch at 147. And we know 147 and 140 is not the same shit. But let me tell you something. When guys are prospects, they're in a more precarious state than someone who actually has been fighting. See, this is my counter argument to it. Josh Taylor's actually been fighting. He's not a fucking prospect. Josh Taylor's been a pro for a number of fucking years. We don't know as a pro what Jerome Boutinus is. We don't know as a pro what fucking Virgil Ortiz is. But we know what Josh Taylor is. And we understand why Terrence Buck Crawford wants that fight. Because Terrence Buck Crawford was the previous undisputed 140 pounder. Josh Taylor is the current 140 pounder. See, I see right through Terrence Buck Crawford's bullshit and fuck shit. I see right through his rabbit ass mouth. Because I told you, he's a Negro that's missing a few fucking screws. He's an Omaha Nebraskan. They can't pull a fast one on. He knows everything. So I see right through it. He wants to prove the 
valid and basically conclusive state point that as the former undisputed fighter, he's the best undisputed there ever was at one fucking 40. I see right through your shit, Terrence Bill Crawford. I see why you want this fucking fight. But the bigger picture point is not about what he knows everything is talking about here. The bigger picture point is the contextualized aspect of he knows everything telling you guys and a prediction king strikes with bread and a prediction king strikes again that terrence bull crawford's next fucking fight was josh taylor who was the only one that told you this this shit was gonna happen and a prediction king strikes with bread. and a prediction king strikes it was he knows everything that's bringing you that what that heat and that far and keeping a foot on the what on the nicks and keeping a foot on the what on the nicks when you operate in a sun suit aka art of war seven steps ahead of the game when you operate in the 48 laws of power you see shit for what the fuck it is. You are operating on a three-dimensional plane. So you see everything for what it truly is at its truest and its most properest levels. I want you guys in the comment section to put respect on he knows everything and say, you know what? He knows everything. A prophet is not honored in his own home. But those whom they've rejected became the chief cornerstone. That's what I want to see y'all say in the comment section. Once y'all say that, he knows everything will be justified. He will be validated. He will be verified. He will be authorized. He will be quantified. And he will be calculated. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. I keep the foot on the what? Oh, eeks. This is He Knows Everything. Checking out.